make a day. I can't beat that flight. I love doing that. Just jumping off the hill there, but coming back is a pain in the ass. Hello guys, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode number 34 of KMA's Jams. Jams, 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 jams. Yes, just another Minecraft series. And today we're going to start work on something um, we should have started work on a long time ago. But uh, it's a project that is really intensely hard and I'm not going to finish it today because it is intensely hard. But I'll show you at least what the project is. I have did a little bit of work on this last night and I opened up this area because I told you I was covering this golem farm with a tower. And I started working on this tower um, a few weeks ago and realized how hard it was to make. And I'm like, nah, I just don't want to do this tower. So I worked on it a little bit last night and um, basically I had these walls already up. And all I had to do last night was to go from this level and create just this one level and a little bit lower over on this side um, to bring the tower into the ground a little bit. And um, so I probably, basically, I put up the these little statues on the outside, just on the front. And... Uh, let's just say on this side, I've rebuilt this about seven times on that side. I've rebuilt it about three times. So all I did was create this outside wall and it took me about five hours and I'm going, oh crap, this tower is going to suck to make. So that's what we're doing. We're going to start working on this tower. Um, the reason why it kind of sucks to make, um, is most buildings go along the straight line like this side does but the front of the tower and the back of the tower is at an angle so everything is going to be at an angle the main part of the tower and that's part of the reason why i chose this uh design for the tower because i like the challenge and um this is definitely going to propose a challenge so uh before if you remember all this was trees lots of trees over here but i kind of wanted to come around this corner <laughs> and then open up into the tower so obviously I've got to do some um, terraforming here and so I'm going to start doing that and I'm going to replace the floor and the inside with um, because right now the in oh, come on let's get in there oh, there's a thingy dying right now the inside is grass and we don't want it to be grass and clean some of this up a little bit Oh no, I can't reach. Come on, jump. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to tear from the front and um, replace the grass a little bit. So, I'm just going to start working and get back to you in a couple minutes. Everything's colored. Everything we know is orange. must be still orange. Not only with orange. Alright guys, I have done some work on the, the tower, a little bit of work, you can see it in the background there, um, and I have updated to 1.10, so 
Right now, I am using the the jump mode just to see what I, how I like it. But I don't really care for it because when you're sprinting and you hit these things, it will slow you down. So I don't know if I like that. So I um, got it up another 15 blocks or so. I finished everything around the edge. Um, now I'm doing the next section because I like to build towers and sections. And um, I've realized that there's easy parts to this tower and very hard parts to this tower. And this is uh, resembling an easy part to the tower right here. And this is resembling a hard part to the tower because I'm trying to get a design in here. Um, and it's very difficult to do. So, um, if my other thing that I'm building is easy to make, this is more like an art project. The other building that the secret, super secret thing is a storage unit. I've told you that and it has a purpose. So the building is not itself art, but this building is more along the lines of art. So it's taking a little bit longer to build um, a lot longer actually and it's very intricate so what I think I'm gonna do is instead of doing layers I'm gonna build the easy part or get the hard part out of the way and uh, then whoa, <laughs> and then uh, work on the other part so because it seems like I can do this section the same amount of time I can do half of one of these little rows right here. So I think I have for sane sanity's sake, I'm going to take care of the hard part, at least one of the two hard parts, because basically there's two hard parts in this building, and this one, and it mirrors on the other side. And um, I think I might just get those out of the way, then build the rest of the building around it. Um... So I wish I could show you what this building is going to look like when it's done so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about, but uh, you don't, so you won't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I uh, filled in the floors and stuff, and as you see over here, I still don't have, um, don't plan on putting anything really inside this. It's just a cut. This whole thing is going to be a shell to cover this mob farm because golem farms look ugly as sin so yeah it's gonna take me a few weeks to do this building so don't expect this building to be completed in this video that's for sure um but it is an interesting building it's not a design that i did but i'm um taking somebody else's design and fixing it for this purpose because the building I wanted to initially make is too small so I'm making this thing bigger and um, so I can fit the golem farms inside and uh, yeah it's gonna go to world height limit so it's gonna go eh, I don't know close to uh, 80 90 blocks higher than that so I think I might add some more trees over here or something. The outside doesn't look quite right. It's a little too open. And, you know, honestly, I did not think that um, I could see it from back here. I was thinking that if I would come out here, it would be blocked by a whole bunch of stuff. But if the thing's going way up here, um, this thing's going to be massively visible from far distance I forget how high world height is so I mean you can tell um, from being close to it that that's kind of not extremely high up but it's pretty high up it's like 30 blocks it looks like it's right on the ground here and the building's gonna go way up there so I don't know but seeing that I switched to uh, 1.10 I wanted to go revisit something that I was working on the last video which was the farmhouse and I wanted to show you why my farmhouse needed 40 blocks and now that 
when we're on 1.10. Actually, that's pretty nice. Not having to jump on, on all of those. Um, so let me put down a couple of chests here. And I'll give you an idea. This isn't the... This is the exact locations the chests are going to go. And it's going to go all the way up. Probably to this level. I might... I don't know what I'm going to do up the top yet. Some way I'm going to have to cap it off so it looks right with the chest. But I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But I don't know how I'm going to do most of the stuff I do in this game anyways until I start doing it. So what I did was I looked at the product that's in the farm. So we'll take nether wart right now. And I go, okay, well, here. We have nether wart. There's one of the things that we could create with nether wart. So we need a double chest of plain old nether wart. Here is the next thing we can create now with nether wart. And um, seeing that 1.10 is out, we can create that. Look at that. We have nether wart block. So we need a chest for the nether wart block. Because nether wart, you can create nether wart block. And part of the goal of this series is to get double chest of every item possible that is stackable like all the normal blocks and stuff um things like efficiency three books not stackable not going to collect a double chest of efficiency three books basically is what i'm getting at then also with uh, you can make these blocks now with nether wart so we have the red nether brick so this chest would be for red nether brick and as i harvest i'm gonna make the new crops and um or the new products as i go along and when i got this filled with nether wart this filled with uh what's this nether wart block and this filled with red nether brick i'll be done growing nether wart and my collection is done and then i can move it to the new storage system that i'm making that is the super secret project so when we look at the other products, say like carrots, there'll be a, a chest for plain old carrots. There'll be a chest for um, golden carrots. There'll be a chest for uh, carrots on a stick, carrot sticks. Um, the fishing pole with a carrot at the end. Something I've never used in Minecraft, but I'll have a double chest filled with them. I don't even know if those, those are stackable. But, um, I can't think of any other carrot products. There's probably rabbit stew. You probably make rabbit stew with carrots. You're gonna... So whenever I am done making the products that you make with carrots, and I have a double chest of each one, they'll be moved over to the storage unit, and this will be the overflow. Um, so basically then I'll stop farming the farm. And that is the goal here, is basically everything, every product you can make with the different things, like with the sugar cane, you can make paper. Uh, you can make sugar. So there's three chests right there for sugar cane, paper, and sugar. Uh, pigs, you have raw meat, and you have cooked pork, or raw pork, cooked pork. Sheep, you can... Well, I have the sheep farms over there. Hey, buddy. There you go. Um, I'll get this out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, mushrooms, I don't know if you can get... You probably get mushroom stew out of them, so I have a double chest of mushroom stew, and double chest of milk for the cows, a leather, double chest of leather, double chest of signs, um, not signs, um, uh, item frames, yes, that's what those things are called, double chest of raw beef, and then a double chest of cooked beef, and so that's why this farm, even though it's not that big, um, it needs 40, at least 40 chests, double chests, so as long as I get 10 on each one of these walls, I am happy. So I got to figure out a layout for 10. Right now, my layout is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, for 14 on each side, just in case. So I might just make these five high and make a design up top here to change things out, make it look different. But I don't know. I'm going to uh, work on getting the chest arranged here. Maybe do a little bit more work on the building, but probably not. But I'm going to do at least these chests so this building is complete and everything is figured out where I want it to be and labeled. And, uh, yeah. So I'll get to work on that and I'll see you in a second. So, I'm, uh, so I am out. 
in the field. The field. Where I get my crops. For my farmhouse. Yes. And as you see, there are no chests left out here in the field. Except for this one. Which is a scrap chest. So, uh, the stuff I need to harvest the crops, I will keep in here. Gonna have your diamond hoe. <laughs> um, so, I'll harvest these crops in a second. But let me show you what I did over here. I definitely need to make some sort of path. I was thinking of maybe even putting a slime block launcher right here and just launch me up to the, the door, but that's not gonna happen. So, I gotta figure out... Uh, a path, most likely a path from over here down this hill, maybe around. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't want to get rid of this hill right here because this is a nice way to fly down to there. Because, you know, Elytra, <laughs> any excuse to use them. So I uh, filled in the chests in here and made a design. Ooh. Now that you're dizzy, um, I put some. Uh, furnace Ferni down here so if I need to cook something for, to put it in the chest I have the stuff here don't know what I'm gonna do with the floor yet um, it's not I, I was thinking just leaving it grass and I was like well you know you need some path blocks but no I did the path blocks someplace else that you haven't seen yet Wait, that's not right. Wink, 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 wink. Super secret project. <laughs> um, yes, I keep mentioning that. I'm going to hype it up so badly so that when I finally reveal the super secret project, you'll be like, this is it. You really? So I better be careful not to hype it up too much. But the um, situation around that super secret project, there's a lot of grass uh, path blocks there. And I'm, eh. Even though I say it's a building, it's a storage unit. It's a whole... 16 by 16 chunk area um, So there's lots of path blocks there and I don't want to Include that over here. I have plenty of wool right there And I was gonna do something with the colored wool with the floor But like I said when I was planning this building out, I had no problem doing it all except for the floor so the floor is giving me a, a difficulty, so I'll get to that when I get to that. Maybe I'll do it on video, maybe I won't. Most likely, it will be done next time you see this building. And I'll just go over it real quick. So basically, um, everything's in here. So let's start. We got the wheat, hay bales, bread, cookies, cake, seeds. There's nothing up there. These chests are basically... I don't even know. I can get into those, so if I need an emergency chest storage, I can get the top ones. So, then the other crops over here. Potato, cooked potato, poison potato. And we got carrot. Yes, those things. Golden carrots, rabbit stew, which is the first time I ever made rabbit stew in my Minecraft career. <laughs> Should have recorded it for posterity shake. But no, yeah, I made rabbits too. Yay. Whoopee. Uh, we got the beets, beet seeds, red dye, because beets make red dye. Uh, eventually, I'll have an area just for dyes, and this chest will go over into that area. Uh, beet soup, which is a waste of time. First time I... No, actually, not the first time I ever made beet soup. So we got sugar cane, sugar, paper, books, and item frames. Because uh, leather, this sugar, sugar, cane, sugar cane... Uh, we got leather and sugar cane, and we got leather up there, um, and sticks. But anyways, whatever. Um, <laughs> it took a while to design this, but I basically was looking for places where things would fit and keep certain items together, grouped together. So like this is a mushroom stack. So we got the normal mushroom, the I mean the red mushroom, and the other mushroom, uh, the red mushroom block, the normal mushroom, fungi block, the poison spider eye because you can make poison spider eyes out of mushroom and mushroom stew so this is a mushroom wall so um that's kind of how i kind of had it this was the wheat wall that's the um potatoes and the carrot wall and then i just kind of added stuff in later to fill in the holes so we got raw pork cooked pork raw beef 
cooked beef, leather, milk. Then we got the purper stuff because I'm going to be putting in the purper farm probably right in this area. Nothing too complicated, but I need to move it away from sight because I don't like coming out of R2-D2 and seeing the purper. Just doesn't really look good. But we got the chorus fruit, the chorus, the cooked chorus. We got the end rods because we make end rods out of it. Um, good thing, <laughs> good thing I got the blaze farm for those. The stairs, the normal blocks, the uh, pillar block looking in the half slab. So that this purper is the initial idea why I wanted to add a second row of chests. I'm not too sure if that actually looks good or not. I don't know. I may, like I said, take these from this top area, make a wall going across and having a loft up here where I can go to sleep and stuff. I may not. Um, depends on how this grows over time with me. Um, what else do we have in this row? So we got um, the raw mutton, cooked mutton. Then we got the stuff for the brown cocoa stuff, cocoa beans. Then we got uh, brown glass, brown panes, and then brown stained clay. And I guess I should do that also with the beets because we got red dye here. So we can get um, red glass, red panes, and you know, red clay. Um, and so I could pull that off the beats also. So, you know, there's lots of possibilities here. It's a little overkill. I will admit that. I understand that. But, you know, for fun and for shits and giggles, why not, right? We got the melon stuff. Even though I have the melons over, way over there near my tree farm, right there. I was going to zoom in, but I don't run Optifine right now because this is 1.10. I don't think Optifine has 1.10 yet. Um, so... We got the pumpkins and the jack-o'-lanterns and the pumpkin seeds. Then we got melons, the complete one. You know, normal melons and melon seeds. Let's make a day. I can't beat that flight. I love doing that. Just jumping off the hill there, but coming back is a pain in the ass. So maybe I'll just make a staircase right here. Some some sort of staircase that goes right up. Jesus. Yeah. This. Yeah. Um, options. Uh, what are we doing? Language video settings. Controls. Jump off. Done. Done. <clears throat> I don't like that. You saw me hesitate there in the air. That's kind of. It slows me down. Don't like it. Just trying to do it with the jump on, but after two days of playing 1.10 with jump on, not liking it. Um, but I gave it an effort. <laughs> but I do like 1.10. I like the new blocks. Um, I mean, okay. A little off topic here. These blocks are ugly as sin. And those blocks up there are kind of ugly as sin. But the bone block, the bone block is awesome. And I already have uses for this. Um, my super secret project's gonna be using some of this and possibly some of that. Um, make it look good, possibly. I might use that in this build way over there um, because I do know, and, and a lot of people will say this, wow, that's kind of bland. You know, just it's an all gray building. It's so gray that you can't even tell the different parts apart from each other. But the building itself is not going to be the focus of the building, even though it is kind of an art project and it is um, crazy difficult to make. Um, that's not going to be the main focus of the building. What is going on top will be the main focus of the building. And that's the color that's going on top. Yeah, so it's gonna the top of the building is gonna stick out big time. It's gonna contrast the rest of the building. So I don't want to make the tower look too ominous, too um, eye catching, because I want you to look at the tower, then look right at the very top of it and go, "Oh my god, die!" Um, <laughs> sorry, piggy. If a live animal gets wanders into my farmhouse, guess what? It's not a farmhouse. It's a slaughterhouse. Slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. Vines. <laughs> Vine blocks. And mossy cobble. We got the... Um, rabbit foot. Rabbit 
hide, I guess. Cooked rabbit and uncooked rabbit up there. Um, rabbit, I am not prepared for. I've never cared for rabbits. Uh, you can't farm them properly. You can't move them around. And now they run away from you when you try and kill them like uh, cats. So when you get a cat in the jungle and you, you know, run up to it, it'll run away. Well, guess what? Rabbits do the same thing now unless you're holding a carrot. And you can't hold a carrot and a sword at the same time, can you? Hmm. Didn't think about that when I was running around trying to kill the rabbit like I'm trying to catch a chicken. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Enough of that. I really gotta fix this. One of these days, this will be fixed. So when I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'll fix it when Tango Tex fixes. <laughs> How about that? I'll put it on Tango's shoulders. He does. He has the same problem. He has the same 1.8 crafting. <laughs> Let me know if you think this design is stupid, if you like it. Um, it doesn't look great from the outside now with all the chests, but um, it's a farmhouse. It's a farmhouse. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll cover up the back of these with with uh, bird poop, diorite. But. I kind of like the fact that it's glass behind here with the, all the chests, so it's it's not a big deal. So I guess, um, so without further ado, I'm going to end this episode because uh, we did a little work on the building, wherever it is. Where are you building? I can't see it in the background there. There it is, kind of in the fog back there. Um, we did some work on that, and we got all of this done. So that is good enough for me, and my cats are going wild in the other room, so... I'm gonna go see what's going on with the cats, why they're going wild. I think they're fighting. There's probably a palmetto bug or something, which is a flying cockroach that's like this big that lives in Florida. Ugh. <laughs> Nightmares are made of those things. <laughs> but uh, I've never seen one in this apartment, so I think we're okay with that. Yes, yes. It's just those spiders that freak me out. Um, but anyways, hope you like this. Um, I don't know if I like the chest formations that may change in the future, but this is how it's going to stay for now until I come up with a better situation. Situation. And um, next week, we'll probably bring the chorus farm over here and work a little bit more on that building. Next few episodes, I'm going to be working on that, that high rise, making some condos for the Gullum farm. And, oh, sorry, a little too close for comfort there. And working with, um, bring, you know, tidying things up in this. Because I don't want to do a full episode on making this building. Because making that would be boring. Maybe I'll stream some of it and highlight it. But I don't know. But anyways, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate all the support. And by the way, I'm at 101 subscribers now. Gained a subscriber since my 100 subscriber episode last week. Excellent. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. It does actually mean a lot to me. So, comment, say hi, whatever. And I'll see you guys around. Have a great day. Bye bye.